and welcome to episode 2 of Game Dev. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Dart IDE and all that crap. Get it all set up so that we can start actually developing some code. Uh, one of the best things about Dart, in my opinion, is its integration into other IDEs. You don't actually need a dedicated standalone IDE for Dart. It integrates into Eclipse, NetBeans, Sublime Text, if you just want a raw text editor. It's, it's a fantastic. Uh, so what we're going to be using, at least what I'm going to be using, you can use whatever you want if you're more comfortable with other ones, but I'm very comfortable with Eclipse, so I'm going to stick with Eclipse. So we got Eclipse open here. There's a link in the description to download Eclipse. You can just go download it and install it if you don't have one. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Help in Eclipse Marketplace. And in the Marketplace, you're just going to type in Dart right here and hit Enter. And you'll see this Dart plugin for Eclipse. Just install that. Confirm except the licensing and all this crap, except you, and it should just need to restart. All right, so now we're back in the Dart environment here, and you'll see that we do have Dart development here. However, we're not, we're not quite ready for it yet. Uh, what we gotta do is we first gotta go to preferences and set some things up. So we're just gonna type in a so, let me see, file associations. We want HTML files, we don't actually want them to be open in a browser, we want them to be open in a text editor. I'm gonna change that, same with you. And text editor. Just so they, they open up like in a uh, text editor. Uh, you also need to backspace that and go to the Dart section here, the SDK, and you'll see that we don't actually have Dartium or the SDK. So we can just click Upgrade SDK, and it should install it right away uh, without us doing anything. So that's pretty good. You also want to go and download Dartium. Uh, I've included a link in the description. Essentially, it's just Chromium. It's a, another version of Chrome. I believe it's 64 bit too. Uh, but it allows you to debug Dart a lot easier. So just go in and go ahead and download that. I've already got one right here. And what we're going to do is you're going to open your Eclipse directory, wherever the e executable is. And you just open this file, just drag and drop it right in there. And you do need to rename it. Rename it Chromium for now. And now if we reopen that window, you'll see that it's installed and the SDK is installed. So we are all good to go. So what we can start doing just to get this started here and then we'll just go up here new dart project we will name this alpha I don't know if I have anything in this directory named alpha but we'll see and we're just gonna make it an uber simple web app for now that's all we really need out of this so you'll see it finished setting up and then we got all this crap here I'll show you all about where all this is and what it all is uh, so right here we're just gonna run as our team launch See that it starts launching it, I believe. There it is. Is that one? You see your Dart app is running. So if you look at this, you'll see that it doesn't actually say that in here, and it just calls the script. And in this, tells it to run. So that's about it. Uh, that's how you set up Dart environment. It's super simple. If you're using another uh, IDE, such as NetBeans or uh, Sublime Text for text editors or other text editors, you can go ahead and do that. I'll link in the description their tool list so you can go and look there and see if there's any information on how to how to specifically set it up for your environment. But it's super simple to use. Uh, so next episode we'll start on getting the main frame up and I'll start teaching you a little bit about what's going on in here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.